Hey everyone, welcome to Arcade Treasure Center. My name is Roy, and right now I'm sitting in my truck getting ready to go into the post office. That's our local post office. I'm getting ready to go inside. I got a couple items go going to mail out. They're right there. Our uh, post office service is no longer picking up packages straight from the house, which is not a problem because my post office is less than half about a half a mile from my house so i can get to it real easy and most of the time i take my packages to the post office anyway i don't have to worry about pickup but in your area you may have to check out and make sure that the postal service is still picking up packages at the house with uh, everything going on and uh, everybody being on lockdown fortunately we haven't been on lockdown we haven't had any virus cases in our area until just recently it just started so as of midnight tonight we'll officially go on lockdown which is what is today's date today's the 20 march 26th so if you're watching this after march 26th i'm already on lockdown but today's march 26th and at midnight tonight we go on lockdown so let me get these packages in the mailbox and be as quick as i can and safe as i can and i hope you all are being safe and i'll show you the items that sold all right before we get started today i only got three items that are going out so let's go pull those three items and i'll talk to you a little bit about my SKU system and that way you can understand it the uh, first item i have is going out in here now you can see when i label my my shelves i got m when i put tubs on the shelf i got this is tub m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 and so forth so the item i'm looking for is on the m shelf it's m2 101 so a lot of items i wrap i don't wrap up to where you can't see them but this one here is one of them this is uh number 101 and i guess you can see that so whenever i Put, whenever I put items up on uh, in a tub, again, some things you can just see what they are. But when I put it in a package and you can't see what it is, then I make another custom SKU label. And this one's 101. In fact, it even has my logo on it. Once I put a, a, SKU, a SKU label on there, it stays pretty good. So I don't try to peel it back off. I'll just ship it out with that SKU label on there. So in my custom SKUs and my eBay listings, what I'll do is I'll put M which means the shelf, like for instance, this is a shelf number M. So I put M2, which is M2, 101. So I just know exactly where I got to go. And that's important when you have a lot of items. Uh, you may remember, in your case, you might remember what shelf you put it on. You might remember which area you got it on. I have some similar items together, but I get so much stuff that what I do is I just fill up a tub. So this tub may have a coffee cup mug in it and then this tub over here might have a coffee cup mug in it and but i list it because that's how i am doing a day i usually fill up a tub or try to fill up tubs that are empty and just put stuff in there i don't really keep a lot of things together now there's a few items i do keep together but that's why i need a custom skew so i can keep track of everything so for instance the next item that's going to be going out i know is on this shelf here and this is what I call my game shelf because I got a few board games on there, a few other things, maybe some puzzles. So it's real easy for me to find this shelf because everything's sticking out. But I still, in my custom SKU, will just write game shelf. And actually, it's the eye shelf. Um, I do have a couple other items on there besides that. So that's why I have it labeled as an eye shelf, not just game shelf. But I know if I put game shelf, I know I'm going to be finding it because none of the stuff is wrapped up. So the next item going out is up here is a spirograph. And this is a 19, I'm going to say 1960s, early 70s spirograph. I can't remember. I think it's dated, but I can't remember what it is right now. And you can tell by the kids on there how they're dressed on this picture that it's an older one. This is more vintage. Um, I picked this up at a thrift shop a little while back, maybe about a month ago, and listed it. And it sold for $14 and the buyer paid the shipping. And I probably only got a dollar or two into it. It was really good price. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, I feel ignorant. 
this right here that y'all are still wondering what it is <laughs> inside here is a uh yorkshire dog he's a little ceramic uh dog he's uh from burrell company i think i'm pronouncing that right and that was uh, from west germany so this is 1980s and before probably i'm going to say probably 70s or 80s is when this was made and you can't see it so i'll show you a picture up here if you're not already looking at it of what it is and this sold for 9.95 free shipping and i picked this up in a thrift shop and it was in a bucket of uh, a bin that was marked every item was marked 50 cents a piece so i went through and randomly picked items that i could find for 50 cents so picked this up for 50 cents sold it for 9.95 free shipping it's going to cost me about two dollars and eighty cents to three dollars to mail out uh, it's real lightweight and it's not going very far so this probably profit me about i'm gonna say four dollars and fifty cents after fees roughly so let me get those two items set down and i'll put them on the table all right and the third item that sold is back here the third item that sold is right here on the Q shelf and it's a Royal Al Albert tea set and you see right there Royal Albert afternoon teas and I'll go put this over here I know you can't see these so I'll show the picture this is a set of four afternoon tea cups uh, the buyer sent me an offer and I accepted I paid a couple of dollars for this at a flea market. I knew it was going to sell re really good. I just had to find the right buyer. They offered $25, so that's what I sold it. Let me get all these items wrapped up so I can take them out to the post office. Um, when I was telling you about the custom SKUs, this is what I do is I print off sheets of labels. These are address label sizes. Uh, it's an Avery brand of labels, and they're just blank. And on my computer, I just put my logo and just numerically put numbers down so that, that way when i go to list and i can just slap a label on there and again i only do that for items that i'm going to package up and i don't know what's in a package uh, another example would be like this one that i'm working on uh, i'm working on my unlisted inventory my death pile my unlisted inventory i hate that death pile word but that's what everybody knows it is 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 if you have unlisted inventory it's a death pile because it's not making any money but for instance i'm working on this this is a set of crown royal glasses from italy uh, I got them in a box. Now, I do have Crown Royal glasses wrote on the side of it. But another thing I do is just go ahead and take a label. Once I pro um, program it and plug it into my sales on a custom SKU, I'll just take a label, slap it on there, and put it on a shelf. And that way, when I'm looking for it, instead of trying to look for a specific item, I see that custom SKU number comes up. I know exactly where to go. And on a box, if there are, I got several boxes that are all the same. I know exactly which one it is. So those are my labels that I use that I print up. Uh, like I said, you may have your own system of how you're doing it, but once I put a label on something, that label sticks and it stays pretty good. So I wanted to have my logo on there also, and it's inexpensive to make. Okay, so I'm back in the truck after mailing out those packages, and uh, the postal workers are doing what they're supposed to do. They're all wearing masks and gloves, and they're all being safe. People are staying there a distance apart. Uh, I felt like when I went in there, I was holding my breath the whole time. This is a whole different world we're living in, so I hope y'all are being safe. Um, I came out, and uh, the first thing I did was grab my little, my only bottle of hand sanitizer that I have, and went ahead and washed my hands down with that real quick, and then when I get home, I'll wash my hands with soap and water again. But everybody's doing pretty good. They're being safe. Uh, people are wearing, some people are wearing masks. Some people are wearing gloves. Everybody's keeping their distance. They're doing pretty good. So I hope where you all are, I hope you're being safe and being proactive and taking care of yourself. Uh, one thing, uh, if you have unlisted inventory or a death pile like I have, uh, make sure that if you have things that are indoor stuff, in, in other words, uh, games, video games, board games, activities, things that you would do as an individual or a family or your kids would do, uh, make sure you get that stuff listed. Uh, one thing that I'm selling recently a lot more of are board games and indoor type activities. So I noticed that people are heating their lockdowns and they're staying inside orders. 
and that's what they're doing is on eBay they're they're still buying I'm still selling other things but I'm selling a lot more indoor activity or indoor type stuff lately so make sure if you got that and you're a reseller and you have that in your unlisted inventory pile make sure you get that stuff listed and uh, hopefully it'll sell real quick so I hope you all are being safe and take care uh, that's my video for the day I want you all to be healthy wealthy and wise and take <laughs> And to all the resellers out there, normally I'd say find it, sell it, and profit. In this case, go through your unlisted inventory. Find it, sell it, and profit. Take care, everyone. Have a great day.